The Move Brush in 3D Coat will allow you to move your geometry around with your brush. And rather than a stroke, it allows you to drag or pull geometry, as you can see here. Its normal default mode is to drag along screen space, meaning that if I grab the edge of the ear and pull to my right, it's going to be perpendicular to the screen. If I were to rotate to a different angle and pull that same portion of the ear, you can see how, again, it's perpendicular to the screen. Let me undo. One unique aspect to this particular tool is that you can hold down the control key to have 3D Coat pull it along the vertex normals rather than in screen space. So this is highly useful and will allow you to, again, extrude or pull along the normals so that you can see from different vantage points how that will look. Let me hold down the control key. And let's say if I wanted to pull out from here, again, it's not pulling in screen space. It's strictly pulling along the normals. So for example, like here, I can pull this part inward just to nudge it a bit. And I can also do the same thing here. Another unique aspect to this tool is that it respects your brush alphas. So for example, if you had some type of a, maybe a scale pattern, let's see, change my brush pack here to uh, three coat brushes. Try some different types of uh, cracks and wrinkles and things of that sort. So let's hold down the control key and I can pull it and see just how far in I want to go interactively, pulling it in and pulling it out. So this is a great way. Uh, to make very fine adjustments on the fly. And let's see if I have some... Uh, it's like a fingernail, but I can try it on the uh, edge here of his ear. Try something like that. And... Let's try something like a reptile or dragon scale. I think this is where I find it to be the most useful. Is you can just rotate around, especially if you have a 3D connection device. Just uh, rotate around. And you can also use your bracket keys to increase the brush size while you are maneuvering your brush into place. You can also use the 9 or the 0 key to rotate it. And... Again, I'm going to hold down the control key and push. Now, if I want to remove some of that jaggedness around the edge, I may need to increase the subdivision in this area. One way I can do that is to come up here to one of these list menus at the top. They're identical menus, but you can access them by holding down the shift key or the control shift key. So let's say um, here, if I wanted to add some extra detail, hold down the control shift key. It temporarily suspends the move brush and allows me to brush in an area to tessellate if I want. So let me uh, turn wireframe on so I can see. Reduce my brush size because that will allow me to tessellate. There we go.
Okay, so now I'm back in my move brush. And if I need, I can adjust the fall off a little bit and also water width. Okay. Now let's hold down the control key. So we're pulling along the normals. Control key. Right click and drag to reduce my brush down. Control key. Right click and drag to uh, drag to the left to reduce my brush again. Control key. And then I can always go back and smooth the edges uh, with relax or let's try tangent smoothing. So hold down the shift key. And just brush along the edges there to smooth those out. Or switch to relax. Turn wireframe off. And that's a quick look at using the Move Brush in 3D Coat. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.